live. There you go. I love it. You know, uh, what I was turning off, when I wake up in the morning, I get, I have this little app where it's got birds singing, and it, it wakes me up. If the birds are up, I need to get up and get on it. So tie Adam. So we're, we're talking today, this is day 35 out of 40. Now, 40, 35 days ago, I made a commitment, a decision that I was doing a Facebook Live every day, <laughs> every day, here, there you go, every day for 40 days. Now, traditionally, this is like the season of Lent. We're coming to the final stretch, that final stretch. How many of you, I love it, you're all popping on, like, like, love, love, share, share. How many of you have made a decision, you're going for it, you get that close to your goal, and you poop out? Anybody besides me? All right? Yeah. This is day 35. I'm like, well, you know, like, there's all these conditions and circumstances I really don't need. I could just pull up something I've done before and not get out there. So making a decision is all about that final stretch, you know? Because guess what? When you're that far from your goal, wow, look at all these people. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Stacy Berger. You're that far from this goal that you set. And guess what? The paradigms really start talking to you. Mm -hmm. They really do. And for me, it's like, well, you know, I, I'm sad. I, I just don't want to do this week. I just, this and that. And then yesterday was Palm Sunday. And there was a message of hope. You know, this whole message of hope. And how knowing what is ahead of you, how committed are you to keep moving forward in the direction of your vision? It's when the obstacles come up. So we're on Monday of this week that we call Holy Week. And you know whether, I, I just had made this decision. Last year I did nothing for Lent. And it was kind of like a nothing experience. This, uh, boy, in the last 35 days, things and conditions have showed up. And it was this commitment that made me keep moving forward. So, for a moment here, whoa, the wind's blowing out here. <laughs> At least it's not raining, right? So, this is the playground where the last time I was here, I was walking my dog and I did not want to come back here. And I said, no, I made a decision to do it. So I'm back here at the playground Yes, I love it. 100% committed, and I will push through. Well, Jackie, let me ask you a question. What if it was easy? What if it was easy, and you didn't have to push through, that you, it was easy, and you effortlessly, and I don't mean effortlessly, you gracefully, with grace and ease, made it to that finish line. Just a little reframe there for you. And I have to do that to my mind all of the time. So I teach a program called Dream Builder. And there is, in the acceleration phase, one principle that I just love. I just got through teaching this to a client. It's called training your mind. Training your mind. Today, we'll, we're talking about the power of decision. Now. <laughs> this, I am open and willing to receive easy. I am keeping my eye on the prize. You go, Jackie. Okay, so in this book, The Power of Decision by Raymond Charles Barker, he wrote, there is only one success process. Know what you want, decide it shall happen, and act upon that decision. Only the dreamer who acted with decision on his dream <laughs> brought forth something new and valuable. So, decisiveness... Oh, what is the name of the book again? Okay. The Power of Decision, Raymond Charles Barker. I'll tell you what. I'll post it uh, in the comment below when I get home. 
Okay, thank you for asking. Very powerful book. Okay, now the word decide means to cut away from. So what if, I love this, my mentor Mary tells a story about Michelangelo. He call, carved the bust of Davis. And guess what? He cut away anything that was not David. So in your acceleration phase of your dream, how willing are you to cut away from everything that is unlike that? which you are creating for yourself. Well, uh, well, maybe this, but not that. That would be too hard. So that might require cutting away from people. It might cut away from activities. Yes. Thank you, Carol. Always fabulous <laughs> having you on Mondays. I love Wimberly shut out. And what if it, it, it meant cutting away from some of the words that you use? Hmm. What if it meant cutting away from TV media input? What if? How decisiveness decided are you to cut away from things that are not in the direction of your vision? Now, some of the words, I want to give you a couple tips. Some of the words I have, uh, I've decided to cut away from this week, and I have to keep deciding. Sometimes it's easier for me to cut away from, to catch it in my clients. I have to find that in myself too. Some of the words I have to cut away from are can't. Like, I can't do it. All right? And I have to replace that with, I choose not to. Okay? Another word I've had to, to cut away from is the word but. <laughs> like, I really love that, but I'm just not feeling good today. Okay? Now, I, I don't know where I learned this. I think it was back in my middle school teaching days where the kids would come in. They'd have all kinds of cool excuses for not doing their homework, for not showing up. You know, like, but, 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 you know, my dog ate my homework. You know? And what I would do on the board, I would write that word, but. B U T and exit out. You know, that is not a word because it's like you're putting your vision to the first part of the set sentence. Everything after that but word is an excuse and it's keeping you from that vision. So, okay, so we do away with one word <clears throat> and we put in place another word. So, what I've uh, chosen when I remember it is to put the word and there. Okay? So let me give you an example. Um, okay, I have a commitment to do five more Facebook Lives this holy week. I love it. And I will do them from wherever I am, with whatever I have on, I've got my running clothes on today, no matter what, okay? Now, an old me would go, I'm committed to do five, five more Facebook Lives this week till I reach my goal of 40s. But if it's raining, if I'm not feeling good, I'm just going to cancel out and put back on something I've done already. All right, which one of those is in integrity with what I've said in my vision? Ask yourself those questions today. Now, I wanted to read, here's another, oops, right here. This is a booklet, oops, for those of you who've been to Dream Builder Live, that my mentor, teacher, coach, Mary Morrissey, passes out, and it is powerful. It's a little book called Decision. The Secret to Creating Breakthrough Success. Now, I wanted to read a quote in here from Theodore Roosevelt to leave you today. In any moment of decision, the best thing you can do is the right thing. The next best thing you can do is the wrong thing. And the worst thing you can do is nothing at all. Theodore Roosevelt. Now, how many of you have waited to do the decision until you absolutely knew it was the right thing? OK. 
okay? Let me read that again. In any moment of decision, the best thing you can do is the right thing. The next best thing to do is the wrong thing. And the worst thing you can do is nothing. Theodore Roosevelt. I'll put some um, references down in comments below. So, <clears throat> when I woke up this morning, there was a decision I had to make. Or I didn't have to make, I chose to make it. And the decision was to come back to this park where I filmed, um, let me show you. I filmed a couple of videos way back when I was on week one of this. Now we're on, I mean, on, on day one and day two and day three. And once again, my dog was walking with me. It wasn't spring yet. There was clouds, there was a promise of spring. And I had made a decision back then to come back here and show you what spring looks like in Texas. Can you hear the birds? There you go. And from day one to day 35, circumstance happened. Circumstance, all kinds of things happen. What circumstances have you gone through in the past 35 days? Okay, take a minute and write those down or bring those to mind. Any circumstance or condition that you've gone through in the last 35 days. Okay, now, Bring to mind where it was that you had to go deep and bring that power that is deep within you to make it through to the other side. Making a decision to find the good in everything is the most powerful thing that you can do. So I'm going to leave you today. Hey, Kit! <laughs> See you at Easter! I love it! She's up in Minnesota now. Okay, so <laughs> we're making a decision. To, for the, the first three days of this week, we are I'm taking you on this journey called Training the Mind. And this is Training the Mind in Preparing for Easter. This is Holy Week. Yes! right on. Hey, there you go, Kitten Deirdre. I love it. I'll be seeing you guys at Easter. So I'm prepared. we're preparing for that glorious today. I'll be at Unity of Wimberley where Kit Holmes and Jill Carey will be doing their first, woohoo, you know, the beautiful of Easter Sunday. But you know what? It t and it takes preparation on my preparation to go deep this week, preparation to train my mind. Day one is the power of decision. I'm deciding for today. Tomorrow we'll talk about the power of the question. And Wednesday, the power of alignment. So stay tuned. Make this a holy, holy week. I love it. A holy, holy week. Go out and do it. Much love. Oops as we move forth into this beautiful springtime, this beautiful cleansing, this beautiful renewing week of your mind and soul. This is um, one of the principles from the Dream Builder program I teach. If you'd like to find out more, you know, message me, put a comment below, share this with anyone who might need an uplifting for this uh, time of year. Um, love you, bless you, Judy Matejcik, award-winning life mastery consultant from Leander, Texas. Dream big, dream bold, accomplish brilliantly.